Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Scorpio tankers and DHT holdings. I want to talk about this sector because there was a lot a lot of pain for the investors in this past year since beginning of the year in this sector a lot of people losing quite a lot of money so I want to just talk about it and show you on the charts what I, I see for the near future and what we should be looking at if you're looking to be entering those kind of stocks or if you need to be thinking about what you're doing next. So let's jump to the chart and see what's going on. So I'm going to be starting with the Scorpio tankers. So like I said, there was quite a lot of pain whoever entered since beginning of the year, you are in a pretty big loss. Or if you were entering at this time when the oil dumped and they needed all the oil tankers to storage the oil and they were having great rates and all this uh, uh, FOMOing into running and buying the stock. So if you bought somewhere in the top area in <laughs> end of March, uh, kind of end of April, so you also down by about 60%, which is uh, can be very painful. But overall, in the long term, I still believe that they will be coming the super cycle that a lot of ships going to be scraped and that eventually the prices will be rising for the shipping of the oil and the tankers going to start seeing some price action because now they're extremely undervalued. So, OK, let's take a look. Uh, so now we are getting here to new waters that this stock never been that low. So it's a little bit difficult to see uh, compared to the history what's going on. So we're just going to go off based on what we have. So lately we looks like we printed here a support line for us that we definitely need to pay attention and make sure we're not breaking it down because if we're breaking it down there's still a lot of room here to go and uh, so it's hard to tell how far it will go but on the short term we can see that we've been sitting in this downtrend and I'm looking if we can break it to the upside and hopefully we're gonna start seeing some higher highs higher lows but that's not the case right now we continue making lower lows and now it looks like we enter some kind of a triangle pattern and now I'm uh, trying to see which way we're gonna be breaking out out of it and see where can we go so that's what I'm looking at right now today start looking a little bit better as we we went above the 21 exponential moving average on the daily chart we were not able to maintain it and the price pushed us down so yeah right here uh, we are below which is not good it's still showing us a downtrend so we're gonna be start looking where we can break uh, from this triangle I usually don't like really use the the targets but i'm gonna show you anyway again don't use it as something that it have to be happening but if we're going to be breaking out to the down as you can see we can reach around the nine dollars which is uh, pretty painful if you already hold the stock or we can jump to 13 dollars and 70 cents it's still not going to help us to create a higher high but hopefully we're not gonna stop there and we continue going up uh, so that's kind of what might be happening if we're gonna take a look from our less low to the high and we're gonna take this kind of area I don't know why I deleted it we can take a look if we're gonna break we probably it's coming together with the 1.61 Fibonacci retracement that like we said that it can reach about nine dollars if we drop down and it coming with the confluence with that so I kind of believe we still might go there hopefully the night the case I'm hoping we're gonna break to the upside and we're gonna start trying to work our way up but these are some things that I am watching right now and see how they fold out so for now 
I'm I really looking to enter. I'm mostly trading it. I'm trying to trade it more kind of on a daily, weekly basis. I'm not holding this stock for at this point of time because I don't know how far we can go down when I'm going to be seeing that we're getting out of this mess and start making higher highs and higher low then I'm going to be purchasing it for a more long-term hold but for now I'm just trading it as I see and uh, let's talk about the DHT holdings and DHT holdings we printed here uh, double top uh, a very very massive double top which been continuing for a very long time if we can see from let's say the point where we are until now it was about a year and a half and now i uh, want to see are we going to be continuing down and finish it the way we started from here or we're going to be start looking at some upside so let's see some areas that can save us for now uh, so our let me see we can see we have some support around this area and if we look back you can see that here it was acted as support as a resistance as a resistance then kind of support here it was support so it looks like it's a pretty strong level and hopefully we're not going to be breaking it down and we're going to keep holding it and again here we looking at some kind of downtrend uh, since august so that's the downtrend that i'm looking for us to break and hopefully again we have to go pretty high to beat our last a uh, higher high so we need to probably break about the six dollars to start printing higher highs and now we also look like in a triangle pattern right here that i'm also watching if we're going to be breaking it to the upside or to the downside again we we just went up above the 21 exponential moving average we closed one day above it which was a kind of bullish sign but we could not maintain it we fell down and again we closed below it which is not very good to see because it might show us continuation of uh, price going down and again we're going to be watching where it's going to uh, break if it's going to go break to the upside to the downside we can try and measure this triangle as well to see where uh, where the price might go if we are breaking it down at some point closer to the end of the triangle so we might be reaching four dollars forty cents uh, let's see if this if this has any previous support resistance in this area just kind of to get an idea so we can see we had the we had some support here we had some resistance uh, sorry uh, we had some resistance in this area we had some resistance in this area here as well here we have some support resistance so we can see that this also a, a pretty strong line so in case we are going to drop below this support i'm going to be looking around this area to maybe entering back to the stock and buy uh, with the hope that it will continue up or we're going to be seeing if it's just going to break through it and continue down again i'm uh, really hoping that we will be uh, start printing higher highs higher lows because these companies extremely undervalued already at their prices and they are making a lot of money which is doesn't make sense but that's just how the market works and uh, again the oil price dump a little bit in the past couple of days it recovered but it's uh, everything very unstable so these are the areas i'm looking so far uh, let me know if you like this video please subscribe to the channel hit the like button hit the dislike button if you did not like it and yeah this is just the areas that i'm thinking of and i'm looking at so none of this financial advice and again uh, to all the people that are holding these stocks i wish you luck and i do believe that there's better days coming sometime in the future it's difficult to say because with the with all this virus that's going on we don't know how it's going to affect the future of oil are there people going to be using uh, less uh, cars 
Are there less flights already? We see this. And is this going to be a huge impact that we're not going to be reaching the, uh, the cycle, that the price is going to start flying up? I don't think so, but anything can happen. And I will be changing my mind with the, with the facts that I'm going to be seeing in the future. So if something going to show me that the super cycle is not coming, I'm going to be looking how I'm getting pulling out my money out of these stocks. Or if it's still staying on the same thought that the super cycle is coming, I will be looking to re-enter this, uh, this spe specifically these two. I don't know why I like them. I just do and these are the two that are following the most i'm following a few more but these are the one that i'm investing in and i'm kind of buying selling and i'm looking for when we're going to start going up i'm going to be looking to hold them for a longer term okay that's all i wanted to share again i'll see you in the next video and hit the like button adios okay.